Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Welcome to my hands on machine learning course. In the previous videos, I have explained you what is the intuition behind a linear regression model and what is the math behind this linear regression model. So before we go into the hands on part where we will try to build this model from scratch in Python, we need to understand one more important concept and it is gradient descent for linear regression. So gradient descent is one of the most important concepts in machine learning and deep learning. So it is a very important model optimization technique that we use in order to find the best parameters for our model. So in today's video, let's understand what is meant by model optimization and how we can use gradient descent algorithm in order to uh, optimize our model and how we can implement this gradient descent for linear regression. So once we understand this, we can uh, build a linear regression model from scratch in Python. Okay, so this is the agenda for today's video. First of all, let's try to understand what is meant by this model optimization. Optimization refers to determining best parameters for a model such that the loss function of the model decreases as a result of which the model can predict more accurately. So I have already made videos on what is meant by loss function. So loss function is a measure that tells us how far is uh, the predicted value and the actual value. So it is like the distance between or it is the difference between the predicted values and the true values that we have. And if the value of loss function is i, that means our model is not predicting correctly. So there is a huge difference between the values predicted by our model and what is the true values that we have. Okay, so we should have very less loss function value. And uh, for this, we need to have the best parameters. So I'll explain you this with an example. So what is meant by this parameters and uh, how we are going to optimize these parameters. So let's say that we have a set of data points. So we have x-axis and y-axis and we have plotted some uh, data points here. Now let's try to fit uh, these data points to a curve. So if you look at this data, we can say that if x, x value increases, the y value also increases. So there is a linear relationship between x and y. So we can fit this data using a simple straight line. So this is a straight line and let's say the equation of this particular line is y is equal to m1x plus c1. Okay, where m1 and c1 are the parameters of the line, where m is the slope and c is the c1 is the intercept. So we have already discussed about, about this. So we have totally eight uh, uh, data points here. And for this particular red line, these four data points are closer to this line, but these four data points are far away from this line. So if you measure the distance between all the data points and this particular line, it will give you the loss function value. Now let's try to fit this uh, data points to a different line. Now let's say that we are using this line and this line is closer to uh, the four data points that are present here, but it is far away from these data points. And the equation for this particular line is, let's say that uh, y is equal to m2x plus c2. And this m2 can be, uh, this m2 is the slope value and again c2 is the intercept value. So the slope value for this line and the slope and intercept value for this line is different from the slope and intercept value for this line. So now let's try to uh, find another line which fits to all of these data points. So if we take a line like this, it is closer to both of these data points. Whereas in the previous two cases, the line was only closer to only the four data points. But in this case, it is actually an optimal uh, model. So we can see that it is a best fit. So let's say that the parameters of this particular line is uh, M3 and C3. So the equation of this line becomes Y is equal to M3X plus C3. So we know that the equation of a line is Y is equal to MX plus C, right? So that is the equation that we have here. And we can say that uh, M3 and C3 are the best parameters because they are closer to all the data points that we have. Whereas in the previous cases, so the line is not closer to four data points. So which is similar to the first model that we have. So we can say that this third model is the most uh, optimal uh, model and it has the best parameters that we have. So in order to find this best parameters, we need to optimize this model. And this is where we are going to use gradient descent. Now let's try to plot the parameter values and the loss function values. So in the previous case, we had three set of models. So the first model that we had are parameters of M1 and C1. The second model has the parameters of uh, M2, C2. Similarly, the third, uh, well, the third model has a parameter of M3, C3. Similarly, we are taking different set of parameters and we are trying to find the corresponding loss function value. Okay, so when you plot the parameters and the corresponding loss function value, you will get a curve like this. So let's try to understand a U-shaped curve like this. Now let's try to understand what is the significance of this curve. So whenever we are trying to plot the data or whenever we are trying to fit the data points to a model, we will randomly initialize the parameters for the model. 
okay so let's say that we are ini randomly initializing the values for our uh, linear regression model so we know that for linear regression the two models that we two parameters that we have are m and c right so we are randomly initializing uh, the parameter values as m1 and c1 okay so let this be one so m1 and c1 for this set of parameters we get a loss function as this okay so this is the corresponding loss function value and from this curve we can say that this loss function value is very high so we need to find a point in this curve where the loss function value is very minimum so the minimum point in this curve the deepest point in this curve is this right so at this point the loss function value is very less so this point is called as global minimum so a global minimum is the point in this curve where if you choose the parameters at this particular point you will have a very minimum loss function okay so that is the point called as global minimum so this global minimum is the point which will give us the optimum set of parameters so the loss function value is very less for this uh, particular set of parameters let's name this as m3c3 okay so m3c3 because uh, in the previous case also we have discussed right so m3c3 is the best fit for our model because this has the very very less loss function so this will be our optimum model so let this be 3 so i'm not good at writing in the ppt just bear with me so this is the global minimum so from this point we need to reach to this particular point so we do that by uh, reiterating over the data so we will try to change the parameters value so we will try to constantly update the parameter values from m1 c1 to try to find which is the optimum parameters so we will reiterate to over the data reiterate means we will make our linear regression model to go through the data again and again so once we do that at a particular point we will reach this global minimum and at this point our model can understand that we have a minimum loss function value and in that case uh, it will choose this particular parameters so the significance of this curve is if you go beyond this parameter if you change uh, or if you increase the parameter values beyond this point then the loss function value increases if you reduce the parameter values uh, below this point then also the loss function value uh, increases so you should not increase or decrease your parameter values beyond this global minimum so this is our most important parameter or uh, this is our best parameters okay so that is what we will do when it comes to gradient descent so we will try to minimize this loss function by constantly updating the parameters by constantly changing the parameters and trying to find which parameter has the minimum loss function so let's try to understand this mathematically how this gradient descent works so gradient descent is an optimization algorithm used for minimizing the loss function in various machine learning algorithms so it is not only used in linear regression it is used in any kind of uh, linear uh, machine learning models and it is also used in the case of deep learning as well so we will try to minimize the loss function by constantly updating the parameters of the learning model so in this case we have constantly try to update it, uh, update the model right so by uh, constantly updating or changing the parameters we will try to minimize the loss function value and this is called as gradient descent so we will do that by this particular formula so you, this is this formula is very important for us because we will try to implement this formula in python so m is equal to m minus ldm c is equal to c minus ldc where m is the slope and c is the intercept and l is the learning rate and dm is the partial derivative of loss function with respect to m and dc is the partial derivative of loss function with respect to c now just pass for a moment now let's try to understand what is meant by each of these terms so this m is the initial value that we took so let's say that uh, this particular point is m1 and c1 so i'll just write this as m1 and let this be m2 so let, let this be m2 and let this be c1 and let this be c2 and let's come back to this particular uh, graph now let's say that this is the second parameter second set of parameters that we have and i'll just uh, draw a dotted line here and let's say that the corresponding parameter value for this second uh, set of values is m2 and c2 okay m2 is equal to c2 now we need to change the value of m1 c1 to m2 c2 where m1 c1 is the slope and intercept of the first line first model and we are changing this model in order to reduce the loss function and the second set of parameters that we have is m2 c2 now come back to this uh, formula m2 is equal to m1 minus ldm and uh, c2 is equal to c1 plus ldc so this is m1 c1 this is m2 c2 now we need to reach to this point so we will reach that point by 
subtracting this m1 value with l into dm so l is the learning rate so learning rate is means like how much you want to change your parameters so do you want to change your parameter by unit of 10 so let's say that you have a slope value of uh, 1000 okay so the slope value is 1000 and your intercept value is 500 let's say that you want to change your slope value each time you iterate over the data by uh, 50 okay so 50 units so what it means is so let's say that uh, your m1 value is 1000 and c1 value is 500 now we you need to reach to m2 and c2 now we let's say that we are choosing the learning rate as 50 so in that case what we will do is it will change the parameter by a value of 50 so that's called as learning rate just try to understand that learning rate is something so it is the magnitude of the change that you are willing to make on your parameters okay so we have two parameters m and c and learning rate is the magnitude of the change that you want to make on these parameters so that is given by l and dm is the partial derivative of loss function with respect to m so that means how much your loss function changes when you change your slope value and dc represents how much your loss function value changes with respect to c when your uh, intercept changes okay so if you come to this curve now we are coming to m2 and c2 from m1 c1 right so when you change the values from m1 c1 to m2 c2 what is the change in loss function value this is very important because we are constantly trying to reduce the loss function value so we need to find this uh, partial derivatives so what is the change in loss function when you change m and what is the change in the loss function value when you change your c so that is represented by this equation which is m2 is equal to m1 minus ldm and c2 is equal to c1 minus ldc where m2 and c2 are the updated parameters and m1 and c1 are the initial or the previous parameters but we won't uh, do this you know subscript in python so we won't use this subscript we will just use as a uh, m1 is sorry m is equal to m minus ldm and c is equal to c minus ldc so we won't use this subscript in programming okay so now let's try to understand how we can find this dm and dc so dm is the differential or uh, differentiating cost function with respect to uh, slope which is m and dc is differentiating cost function with respect to c so now the cost function is synonymous to loss function so what, there is only a small difference between them so you can just go to google and search what is the difference between cost function and uh, the loss function the answer is very straightforward so you can search for it so for now just understand that cost function and loss function are very similar to each other and they have the same formula so this is the formula to com compute the cost function or the loss function so it measures what is the distance between your true value and the predicted value so if you don't understand what is meant by loss function or cost function i'll give the link for my video which i already made on this loss function concept so just watch that video so for now understand that this is the formula for loss function or cost function which is 1 by n sum summation of yi minus yi pred whole square okay so we need to differentiate this cost function with respect to m first and then we need to uh, you know differentiate the cost function with respect to c so these are two partial derivatives so when you uh, add these two it becomes a complete derivative and these are partial derivatives because we are uh, differentiating cost function first with respect to m and then we are differentiating with respect to c okay so now what i'm do, uh, trying to do is i'm replacing this ya prediction with mxi plus c because this is the model that we have so m3x plus c3 so this is the model that we have right so instead of uh, this red color line represents my predicted value which is yi prediction and blue color data points represents yi which is true value so that is represented by this uh, particular equation so yi means the true value which are the blue color circles that i've shown you and yi prediction is the red color line that we have uh, you know created the linear regression that we have created so i'm replacing this yi prediction with mxi plus c the equation of the line so that we can do the integration we can do the differentiation right so we cannot differentiate y with respect to m so we can differentiate uh, m with respect to m only so i'm uh, replacing this yi prediction with this particular equation so you just need to uh, you know implement this and what you need to do here is just need to square this so this is a minus b whole square formula okay so you just need to take this uh, so this is very simple first you need to square this particular thing so like what you need to do is this is a minus b so just uh, think about this as a minus b formula so a minus b whole square and uh, when you do that you will get y i square and this will be whole square and then it will be 2 a b so 2 a b will be uh, 2 into y i into m x i plus c so that is what given here and then you need to uh, implement uh, a plus b whole square formula so i'll just explain you this again 
So we have y i minus m x i plus c whole square. So what you need to do is first you need to implement a minus b whole square. Just consider this entire term as b. Okay. So let this be a minus b. So this entire term in this bracket is b. So you need to implement a minus b whole square formula. Once you do that, you will get a term as m x i plus c whole square. Then you need to again do a plus b whole square formula. So if you do that computation, you will get a equation something like this. Okay. Now we need to in, uh, integrate this equation by means of m. And when you inter, sorry, uh, it is not integration; it is differentiation. So you need to differentiate your equation with respect to m. So when you differentiate your equation, you will get the uh, formula as something like this, which is minus two divided by n x i into y i minus m x i plus c. Okay, so this two comes from this y i square. So if you uh sorry this m to x i so if you uh, differentiate this it will be 2 m x i uh, right so it comes from it so you can just uh, calculate this so this is very simple differentiation so you will get a formula like this which is so I'll just uh, highlight this so it will be minus 2 n summation of x i into y i minus y i prediction so this is something you will get if you differentiate this particular equation with m and similarly you need to differentiate the cos function with respect to c Okay, so we are just uh, using the a minus b whole square formula, and then we are again need to uh, use a plus b for uh, whole square formula for this particular term, and we need to differentiate this. In this case, we need to differentiate it by c, which is intercept. Previously, we have differentiated it with means of slope, and now we need to differentiate it with means of intercept, and you will get a equation or you will get the formula as like this. Okay, so the First formula or the DM formula we have is DM is equal to minus 2n summation of x i into y i minus y prediction and DC is equal to minus 2n uh, divided by n y i minus y i prediction summation. Okay, so these are the values of DM and DC. And if you substitute the values of uh, DM and DC in this case, you will uh, get the updated parameters of slope and c. So this is how you can update your parameters. So previously I have explained you right. So we will, uh, we need to reach to this global minimum point, right? So we reach that point by updating the parameters using this formula, and we have discussed what is meant by this DM and DC. So the most important things which we need are these two uh, formulas and these two formulas. So we need to uh, implement these two formulas in Python. So these two formulas and the third updating uh, formula. So once we update the slope and intercept, we will, uh, you know, create a gradient descent that can find. The minimum loss function value and the corresponding parameters value. So this is the process that we will do. So we will randomly initialize a slope value and intercept value, and using gradient descent, we will try to find the DM and DC, which is uh, the partial differentiation of the loss function with respect to slope and uh, uh, intercept. And we will try to update the parameters constantly. So we will create a for loop, and inside this for loop, we will reiterate the data using a linear regression model, and we will constantly update the parameters. So it's okay if you don't completely understand this. It's completely fine because we are going to implement this in Python using in an in our hands-on session. So in that case, you will get a better understanding of this. Okay. So for now, uh, understand that this is the formula that we use for gradient descent, which we use to minimize our loss function value by updating our parameters. So that's it for this uh, gradient descent video. And I know that this can be huge for you to take. This will be, you know, a bit difficult for you to understand. But just feel free. So I'll just also make a separate video on this as a detailed explanation. But uh, just make note of these formulas, which is m is equal to m minus l dm, and c is equal to c minus l dc, and uh, how you can find this dm and dc. Just take a note of this. So that is fine for now. So we can use this in order to uh, implement our linear regression model from scratch. So that's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next video where we will try to implement all these things which we have learned in Python, and so that we can uh, build a linear regression model from scratch. So I hope you have understood all the things covered, and I'll see you in the next upload. Thanks for watching.